as you can see today question it's from waves and it's from beat frequency right uh, you should know a couple of equation to do this question first the question will appear soon and try the question and then let's get into the explanation part you should know a couple of equations for this try it first and then let's see it present the variation of amplitude with time of two progressive waves the beat frequency and the ratio of the maximum and minimum intensities heard by the observers are, observer are right so here in this question uh, they are asking us to find the maximum intensity and the minimum intensity and we are given two equations right so when doing that actually we need frequency here to find the beat frequency so let's uh, look at the equation we need to find the beat frequency to find the beat frequency actually let's look at the equations first so initially beat frequency is uh, you have to find we can find by subtracting the two frequencies of the two waves these two waves the frequencies of these two waves must be almost equal quite similar the value should be closer so to find the frequencies uh, we are given only this equation right from this equation we need to find the frequency so the first equation is this y1 equals 4 sine 400 pi t right so this equation uh, must be familiar to you this is the equation if you remember the equations these are this is the equation you should know x equals a sine omega t when we are doing simple harmonic motion we get this equation and we can apply this equation to the wave as well right here x means the displacement so a is the amplitude and omega this is 400 pi is omega and t is time right so we know the omega value 400 pi right you should know the equation to find frequency from omega f equals omega over 2 pi right from that you can find the frequency of a wave and then you can move into the answers right let's find the frequency first so 400 pi is the omega value for first wave and 404 pi is the omega value for the second wave right let's apply this equation f equals omega over 2 pi here let's find the frequency first 400 pi divided by 2 pi we are getting 200 that is hertz 400 pi divided by 2 pi that is 202 hertz if you look at the answers yes 200 uh, and 202 hertz so the difference will yes that the difference is the beat frequency so it's two so we have three answers one of these three is correct right the ratio of maximum and minimum intensity right intensity i proportional to amplitude squared right then when these two waves superimpose yes constructive interference uh, we get 4 plus 3 amplitude is 7 that's the chance and minimum 4 minus 3 that's 1 destructive right 7 squared that is 49 and 1 squared 1 so 49 over 1 yes second answer that's the correct answer here when you are doing question like this uh, you should know couple of equations so if you couldn't do this question that means you don't remember the equations required here so what you have to do is you have to remember the equations if you don't re you not remember the equations uh, that means you don't know how to apply the theory so if you think your theories are not good that means you don't remember the equations first so try the equations uh, try to buy hard the equation somehow uh, then there's a chance uh, you might know the theory you might remember the theory right so this is uh, not that much of an easy question but you have to remember a couple of theories to get the answer so if you could do this question that's great so find similar type of questions and try it again and again uh, you will finally get there